guys, welcome back. Uh, we are going to stop doing Harry Potter and instead focus on a different series. So, if you know what time it is, do it with me. Drum roll, please. Today's book is Wings of Fire, The Dragonette Prophecy. This book is written by Tui T. Sutherland. It has 304 pages. It's about a world of dragons. They live on a continent called Pyria. The tribes are sand wings, mug wings, sky wings, sea wings, ice wings, rain wings, night wings. If you look here, these are the various territories. Sandwing has most of this, but they split off here. And yeah. The tribes are in a war because the Sandwing Queen, Queen Oasis, died and neither of her daughters killed her because in this world, um, any female relation to the queen has to kill her to get her throne and uh, male relations cannot kill her. I know that's kind of weird. But anyways. Um, there has been a prophecy that says a sand wing a sea wing, a night wing, a sand wing, wait, I said sand wing already, I meant a mud wing, a sea wing, a night wing, a sand wing, and a sky wing would save the world. They would hatch on the brightest night because Pyria has three moons, and the brightest night would be when all of them were full. I can't make three moons with my hands. Anyways, and... They would uh, save the world after the war lasted 20 years. The people that want to fulfill this prophecy are called the Talons of Peace. Three of them, Kerstral, Dune, and Webbs, are the people, the dragons, not the people. If I ever said people in this video, count it as dragons. Uh, the I forgot where I was. Anyways, the dragons that have to watch them are Kerstral, Dune, and Webbs, part of the Talons of Peace. The sky, the Mudwing, no, not Mudwing, the, the Skywing egg broke, and Webbs replaced it with a Rainwing. The five dragons that hatched on the brightest night are Clay, Tsunami, Glory, Starflight, and Sunny. Clay is a Mudwing. Tsunami is a sea wing, Glory is a rain wing, Starflight is a night wing, and Sunny is a sand wing. This book picks up two years before the war has lasted 20 years, so two years before Clay and his friends have to leave the cave, get to leave their mountain cave where they have been living all of their life and go save the world. They escape, however, again two years before they were supposed to leave. Read this book to find out what happens after they escape. I give it five hearts because it was a really interesting story and you get to learn more about all the tribes in every single book in the series. There are 14 books as I mentioned before, so. Bye.